Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using SAP Business Workplace for Workflows by Zaran Tech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zaran Tech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of using SAP Business Workplace for Workflows. So see this thing. Business workflow, the transaction code for our SAP business workplace is nothing but SBWP. Let me show it to you. Uh, just go to this SBWP transaction code. You can see this is the business workplace for my particular user. And here what I can see is we have got various sections. The first one is menu bar here. In the case of menu bar, we can see new messages, find folder, find document, appointment, calendar distribution list and here we can see inboxes in the inboxes we can see the two sections for on read document then with the documents and then the important thing for this video which we have this workflow so whatever the workflow that you are going to create and the user decision that you will provide so whatever the agent that you will assign in case of user decision that particular agent is going to receive this workflow in this particular business workflow here in this workflow and after approval so suppose either approving or rejecting your leave request then in that situation the user is going to receive mail or whatever pay step that has been given in this inbox section here we will see so what is the use of sap business workplace Mainly whatever the workflow that you are going to trigger, it will be received by your reporting manager or agent in their SBWP or business workplace transaction code. So what is simple, if we discuss about workflow, a workflow is nothing but a, you can say a type of module in our SAP using which we mainly automate our business processes. So to automate our business processes, we can decide if my manager is not approving or rejecting his leave in a given time period, then the leave should be auto approved after suppose 24 or 48 hours. So this kind of thing we can mainly create in case of our workflows. So to see it, let's just go to SWDG transaction code, which is mainly our workflow builder which we use to perform any kind of task and the task can be anything in this video we will see the use of business workplace so my current requirement is i am going to create a, my workflow for leave request approval and i will trigger it to my reporting manager then he or she is going to receive it in their business workplace we also can see we have got navigation area and uh, this uh, workflow elements here where we can design workflow containers and whatever the steps that you will be creating here it will you can see it, it will get automatically added in this navigation area under this step folder so my leave request approval the first thing that i will have to create is simply click on this save button i'm going to uh, workflow definition is already saved i'm going for the new one and I'm going to click, click on this save button and I'm going to give the name of the abbreviation as workflow and in the name I am giving as uh, leave approve reject workflow press enter assign the package and transport request and what you are required to do is uh, see uh, my workflow number has been generated and uh, the version has been generated here so the Already we can see the first step in case of any workflow is always workflow started and the last step will always be workflow completed. In between, the first step that we are going to design is nothing but user decision. So just right click on it here, go for this create button and we will directly go for this user decision. In case of title, I'm going to give the, it as approve or reject leave. I'm going to give the name as approve or reject leave request. 
then we have got the multiple parameters here parameter one two three four and uh, i can see we have got this agent name so what you will do here you will use this user and you will give the name of your reporting manager so currently i am going to, i am showing this for a demo purpose so i will simply select as as workflow initiated that is now i myself will be the reporting manager in this scenario and this user decision will be received by me in my business workplace then we have got the various decisions so in case of leave there will only be only the two decision that is going to be it will be approval or rejection of leave so the first decision is approval uh, approve leave and the first decision is going to be approve leave and uh, outcome name will be approved and the second decision we have got we are going to see is nothing but uh, reject leave here and uh, reject leave and the outcome name will be reject then we have these parameters here so you can design the containers name here and in that container you can store your user id user details and the reason for which you are applying for your leave all this can you can pass here using this parameter when you click on this f4 button you can see this container section comes here and you can use it. so whatever the container you will create here you can directly use it then just click on uh, this ok button and we can see our new step type has been created and one of the step is this has been added the two decision are approve or reject so let's just go for approve one right click on it and go for create one so if my user if my reporting manager or agent is going to approve my leave request what uh, i will want the next thing that should be happen is uh, i should be getting a, a mail so just i will go for the send mail option and again i'm you can select the one who is going to receive this mail by using this user or you can directly go for uh, this email address and you can give the email name of that user who will receive this. I'm simply again selecting as workflow initiator because I myself will, uh, going to, I will be going to receive this mail. In case of subject, <clears throat> see, in case of subject, approve leave request leave request this is the subject i am giving it and here the same we will give write a detail message so i user uh, your leave request leave request oh sorry request has been accepted by your reporting manager just we are required to click on this ok button then you will give the name of abbreviation and the name itself and press enter assign the package and transport request and see we have got one more section for approval here then the next thing that we are going to design here is going to be reject so in case of reject what you want you will again want the mail to be received by you so I will go for this send mail option and again I am selecting here the workflow initiator because I only have this one system to show you and uh, for this demo purpose the best thing that we are going to use it only. Then the subject uh, we will give uh, reset leave reset leave. Here I will give the name as high user your leave request leave request has been rejected by your reporting manager. Just click on this OK button and give the abbreviation and name here then next meeting we are required to this, click on this ok button then you can see this package and assign the package and transport request so all the steps of my this approval uh, workflow has been completed here the first step is workflow start and the last one is workflow completed in between i have designed a user request user decision here and my 
agent is going to receive this user decision and based on that if you will approve uh, uh, the leave request this particular step will be done and the user will receive the mail that your leave request has been acknowledged or approved by your reporting manager and if he will be rejecting the leave this particular step will be done and uh, the user will receive the, again the mail that your leave request had been rejected by your reporting manager now just we are required to just click on this activate button so workflows definition saved and activated no error we can see it now just click on this execute button simple here we can see we have got a business workplace just click on this business workplace and in the inbox uh wait a minute just click on this execute one now go to sbwp 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 in case of inbox now you can see we have got one workflow regarding the approve or leave this request and here we can see we have the two step that we have given approve leave or reject leave and the third one is cancel and keep work item in inbox so if we go for this cancel one nothing will be happen your workflow will remain here and then if you go for approve leave my user will receive the mail just go to swdd and again execute this workflow here and uh, execute it and suppose i'm selecting approve leave here then in case of workflow log we can see our the current status is completed and the result one is approved and if i will go for uh, reject leave in the workflow log you can see the current status is completed and the result one is nothing but the reject leave which has been done by my reporting manager so these are the important thing that we are required to understand here Uh, so these are the various important things that we are required to understand in this situation that we can use our SAP Business Workplace, workplace for our workflow. So this is all about. Thank you very much.